Hey everyone, this is Owen with Motion Array, and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to render in After Effects. Alright, let's get started. So here in After Effects, I've got a composition that I'm happy with, and I'm ready to render this out. So all I need to do is go up to Composition, Add to Render Queue. When I do that, my render queue shows up, and you'll see that it's added my composition to the queue. If you want an uncompressed version of your video, then using this lossless setting will be perfect. Then all you need to do is choose where you want to output the video to, and you can do that by clicking on the blue type here. Then you just need to navigate to where you want to save your video. All that's left to do after that is hit render. Once After Effects is done rendering, your video will be waiting for you where you output it to. If you want a compressed version of your video, you have to do things a little bit differently. In CC 2018, you can no longer render with H.264. You have to use Adobe Media Encoder. So to do this, we'll go up to Composition and we'll go to Add to Adobe Media Encoder Queue. This launches AME and loads your composition into the queue. If you want to choose H.264, you can use this first drop-down menu and select it here. And if you need to fine-tune any settings, you can click on the blue text under Preset and adjust settings there. Then we just need to choose where to output the file to. And then we just hit the green arrow to render. Again, once the rendering is done, your file will be waiting for you. An added benefit of using Adobe Media Encoder is that you can continue to work in After Effects while you're rendering, whereas if you're rendering in After Effects, all you can do is render. Well, that concludes this tutorial. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did and you'd like to see more tutorials, please go ahead and subscribe because we're making new ones all the time. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Oh,